What up guys, Steve here with Yala TV and thank you for tuning in to another beer review. Um, you may ask, where have you been? Where have you been? I haven't seen any videos in a while. And listen, I can explain. Uh, a couple weeks ago, probably at the beginning of May or so, um, I was kind of getting ready to load up some more videos and get some more beer reviews out to you guys. And we're called and said, hey, you're going to go down to Florida for two weeks. Uh, what do you think? And I was like, uh, sure, I guess. Wouldn't mind going down to Florida, checking it out. So basically, kind of a short notice, flew down to Florida, was down there for two weeks, didn't have anything prepared as far as content goes for you guys to watch, so I apologize. Um, but that's where I've been. I've been at work. We've just gotten back a few days ago. Uh, trying to get back into the swing of things, but there's just been a lot of different things around the house that have been going on and, you know, different decisions and just a bunch of, a bunch of life stuff has been going on. So anyway, you guys, we are back. Um, I have a beer review for you guys today, and this beer comes from the great state of Indiana and from the 18th Street Brewing Company. Today, we're going to be trying Rise of the Angels. Uh, Rise of the Angels is a double IPA, and it is made with grape zest, and is a oh, grape zest has been added to it. And um, yeah, this looks like an awesome can here. You guys, take a look at the can art for you real quick. Uh, let's see, the description for this is helping to resurrect your palate from the doldrums. Rise of the Angels bursts onto the tongue with a blast of grapefruit zest that is quickly followed by a parade of floral and citrus hops. And this bottle, or this can rather, was picked up uh, out by Wise Guys in the Maryville area. So if you're interested in trying this beer out, that's where I picked it up. And it was $3.89 for the can. So, uh, 18th Street, I thought I would start off my comeback tour <laughs> it's not really a tour we're just back we're, we're bringing you guys more beer reviews we took a few weeks off obviously because of work but we're back we're ready to get started again uh, but I wanted to start off with uh, hopefully a banger um, a nice uh, local brewery 18th Street if you guys have not had them before uh, they have great stuff so check them out 18th Street Brewery we're gonna go ahead and check out this beer so let's get started we're gonna crack this bad boy open and get it into a glass uh, this beer here uh, weighs in at 7.7% alcohol by volume. And again, this is an uh, Imperial or Double IPA and uh, 18th Street Brewery Rise of the Angels. Let's go ahead and get it into the glass, you guys. We're going to go about three quarters of the way up. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube fill their glass all the way to the top. And I don't know, that just, it kind of, I don't know what it is. I don't really, I'm not a fan of that. I don't know, I think I'm just nitpicking, but I like it to fill up the glass, but not all the way up to the top. I like to kind of give it a little bit of a swirl, a little bit of smell, and uh, kind of go from there, but I don't know, that's just me. I see a lot of people do that, and I'm like, why so much? You don't need so much. Maybe you do, I don't know. All right, guys, here we go. Look at the color here, what do we have? Uh, we have a nice clear beer. Um, you guys can see the... Uh, Carbonation, a lot of bubbles floating to the top. A nice th half a finger of soapy white head there on the top. And it's got like a nice copper kind of color, like looks like a penny, like a thin penny. Um, or a thin colored, thin colored? A lighter colored penny, like one of the brand new ones. That's what it looks like up to the light here. Um, so anyway, this beer looks good. Nice and clean, nice and clear. Let's go ahead and give it a nose. Oh yeah, it smells pretty good. I like the the citrusy grapefruit um, scent of this beer. I actually, it caught my eye because it said this was a double IPA made with grapefruit zest, and I'm a big fan of grapefruit, as you guys know. Um, I've mentioned it a few of my other beer reviews that are IPAs and New England style. My kind of go-to with the flavors is the oranges and the grapefruits. It's just something that does it for me. So that's what this smells like. It smells good. It smells very fresh too, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead and give it a sip. Uh, again, Rise of the Angels from 18th Street Brewery. Cheers. Okay, so what we got? We have a little bit of kind of like a sticky mouthfeel.
It's very floral. It's very light. Um, if there's grape or the grapefruit is very subtle in this beer, it's not very. It's not hardcore by any means. It doesn't stand out, but it's it's there. But it's very subtle. Almost like a. I mean, it tastes more orangey to me than it does grapefruit. Um, yeah, but it's very sticky. It's got a nice mouthfeel, very clean, like I said. Um, very floral. I was kind of expecting a little bit more from this beer, I'll be honest. Let's see. Do we have a canned on date? I do not have a canned on date, so I'm not sure how old this beer is. This beer has admittedly been sitting in the fridge for a few weeks probably longer than I would like um, so I wonder if some of the flavoring has you know kind of gone away but if it's the case and that's my fault because again when I bought this beer I want to say maybe last month or even the month before and I kind of just let it sit in the fridge and get it was just hanging out in the fridge so if it has lost any flavor again that's my fault Yeah, it's got more of a floral aspect to it than it does any kind of uh, any of the fruit. Again, I get more of an orange than a grapefruit, but uh, I just like that it's clean. There's definitely no booziness to this beer. Um, I'm not getting any kind of like alcohol burn or anything like that. Um, with it being 7.7%, it's hidden pretty well, I would say that. So um, maybe make sure you drink this after you've eaten something or with something um, I did eat kind of a bigger lunch before we went on camera today so I wonder if that's kind of what it is but uh, even still you don't really taste too much of the alcohol and that's that's good I like when beers are made that way so you're not getting nothing but booze you're getting more of a taste and flavor and when they can hide that alcohol that's a good thing It's a nice beer. It's got some nice lacing here on the side, as you guys can kind of tell. Um, and it quickly subsides back down to the rest of the, you know, the, the glass there. But this beer is not too bad. I was kind of hoping a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this beer a final rating of 3.75 out of 5. Um, this is Rise of the Angels from 18th Street Brewery. If you've had this beer, let me know down below in the comments what you thought of it. If you enjoy this review and you're glad we're back, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel right down here, there's going to be a subscription box. You guys can click on that, hit the notifications so you know every time we have a beer review. And also, now that it's summertime, we're going to be doing a little bit more of the fishing side of the channel. So I look for more fishing stuff here coming up soon along with more beer reviews. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, we will see you on the next episode. Cheers.